Hi everyone. Hello. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Welcome to episode three of Ang A Cloud Concerts. Go for Baroque. I'm Jack Chen, the artistic director of Inner Space Concerts. And I'm Eileen Walsh, clarinetist with Symphony Nova Scotia. Welcome. I can't believe it's already been a week since our last episode. Uh, we have put together a lot of goodies for you tonight. There will be something, hopefully, for everybody. Tonight, we're trying something new for our live stream concert collaborations. We have Silk Panther, uh, Holly Carr, painting live from her studio in Canning, Nova Scotia. You'll be able to see Holly's uh, Holly painting throughout the entire concert. So let's say hi to Holly. Uh, Holly, are you there? Holly. Hi. Hi. Have fun tonight. Any idea where you're gonna paint? Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling butterflies tonight, but other than that, I'm going to make it up as I go. Well, I'll say there'll be a lot of Baroque music, so I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, and we'll uh, check in with you later today, later tonight. Have fun. Holly will I be will listening. Indeed. Thank you. Holly will be listening in uh, during the concert while she paints, and the painting she produces tonight will be auctioned off uh, sometime after the concert to support the Canadian Mental Health Association. Stay tuned for more information on our website and via the newsletter. Speaking of online stuff, if you're on YouTube, which you are right now if you're watching, please help us grow by clicking the subscribe button uh, and subscribe to the Inner Space Concerts channel. To begin tonight's episode, we rolled out our O Canada Challenge. It's an opportunity for musicians from coast to coast to unite in playing our national anthem. We invite those of you with an instrument to send in your own video and we will compile version 2.0 when we have additional submissions. You can find the sheet music, the guide track, and more information on our website, www.innerspaceconcerts.ca slash O Canada Challenge. The program tonight will run about 45 minutes. We will start with some solo flute music, set to a story that might resonate with anyone who hasn't been able to find any toilet paper in stores lately. Then we'll have a beautiful viola solo uh, by Telemann, played by the wonderful half-Lego, half-human violist Etienne Chana. And after that, we go live to cellist Rachel Desor performing a minuet by Italian composer uh, Joseph Abacco as well as her Bach cello project that involves five different cellists. After the Bach extravaganza, we will check in uh, <clears throat> with Holly and see how the painting is coming. We also have a special music uh, musical guest we will introduce to you much later in the show. We start tonight's episode with the first movement of J.S. Bach's Partita in A minor for flute solo. While the composition date of the music is unknown and the title of the work is not Bach's own, we know more or less for certain that this piece was written after the fifth Brandenburg concerto, judging by the more technically demanding writing for the flute. The first movement of the piece, Allemande, is a couple's dance that originated in Germany in the 16th century, but became quite popular in France and England later on. The word Allemande means German in French, a little tribute to the origin of the dance. A couple dancing in Allemande often has a very stately composure and flowy steps. It's often in the common time of 4-4, four -four, which has four pulses in each measure. Enjoy the music and story, and Jack hopes that your COVID-19 grocery shopping experience will improve drastically after watching. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Hello. Recently, I had a lot of free time, so I've decided to explore the Baroque side of my viola. I've installed gut strings to get the most expression out of the timbre of the instrument. I'm also playing a lot with my Baroque bow made by Max Casper. Here you can see the difference with my modern one. And finally, I also made this old style chin rest out of walnut. Please enjoy this adagio from Telemann Fantasia number no. 3 on this fun new setup. Cheers! Hi, so nice to see you all. Oh, not yet. Um, thank you so much to Jack and Irene for allowing me to come to you live today. Uh, just like Etienne, I've been spending some of my self-isolation time learning more about Baroque music. So I also have a Baroque bow and some gut strings on, and I'm actually taking a class with Baroque cellist at Air Fry in Montreal online. So a little later in the program, you're going to hear Bach's first suite for unaccompanied cello. And I thought what would pair nicely with that is this minuet by Dalabaco. So the, the suite is made up of a bunch of dance movements, and one of them is a minuet. And this Capriccio by Dalabaco is also a minuet that plays with G major and G minor sections. They're both really beautiful, and uh, I'm happy to play it for you now. Dalabaco Capriccio number eight. <laughs> Thank you. 
cellist of Symphony Nova Scotia and together with my cellist colleagues uh, we prepared a Bach project for you. So you might have noticed that on the internet there's a lot of Bach these days and I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, the first is that Bach wrote so many masterpieces for solo instruments so during this time of self-isolation that comes in really handy. Uh, the other reason I think is that musicians just love Bach. It's so wonderful to spend our lives coming back to these great works and finding new ideas for them all the time. So I hope you enjoy our version of Suite Number no. 1 for Unaccompanied Cello by Johann Sebastian Bach. <laughs> Thank you. 
and I'm really pleased to have been asked to be a part of this Symphony Nova Scotia cello section project. Uh, this period of uh, self-isolation and social distancing has been focused to, for me and my wife primarily on taking care of our two young kids, uh, Jasper who's age two and Finley who's aged four. So in the midst of all of that, it's been great to have a chance to uh, focus on um, a music making project as well. Thank you. 
everyone. My name is Hillary, and I, uh, I hope you're all staying well in this COVID period. Um, I'd like to thank Rachel for uh, coming up with this neat idea to perform a Bach suite um, shared amongst our colleagues. And uh, I'd also like to thank Jack Chen for his, uh, his endless creativity in finding new ways to uh, present concerts for you all. Um, I will be playing the two minuets from this G major suite. Um, the first one is in G major and the second one is in G minor. Uh, and then uh, Da Capo return to minuet number one. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it and um, Stay well.
Wow, that was amazing. Um, that was just such wonderful music uh, from the Baroque masters. Thank you, Etienne. Uh, thank you to our cellist, Shimon, Vernon, Norm, Hillary, and Rachel for the wonderful uh, performances. And a special thank you to Rachel who, uh, for her live performance and uh, as well her initiative in bringing all these cellists together. Thank you. We thought we'd check in with Holly and see how she's making out with the painting. How's it going, Holly? Hey, it's going really well. I'm getting very close, as you can see. That's amazing. Beautiful. Wow. We see a lot of, uh, we see a lot of uh, butterflies saying, what's at the bottom? Okay, I'm going, I decided to sort of, I wanted them to sort of feel like they're coming up from from the country and the city. So I have sort of rural, a rural community on one side and an urban on the other, maybe Halifax a little bit. And then <laughs> I'm going to have smaller butterflies coming here and I want the, all the energy to be coming up from all of the people who are isolated here. So all that beautiful music just felt like it was fluttering and so I kept doing more and more butterflies. And at the top That's... there's a luna, which of course comes around the moon, so. There. Right. That's beautiful. We can't wait to see uh, the end result. We'll put it up at the very end of the concert tonight and uh, we'll okay. see you later. Thank you so much. You. Thank you, Holly. We hope all of you watching at home have had a great time so far tonight. We want you to give a uh, we want to give a special shout out to everyone who has supported us all year long. Um, and especially this past few weeks. Thank you for your continued support. A special thanks uh, also goes out to Joe Popovich, uh, Inner Space in-house designer who uh, turns out all these amazing graphics and uh, in turn, I think for me, really inspires me uh, for our concerts as well. So thank you, Joe. As well, thank you again for, uh, uh, to Rachel for putting together the Bach Cello Project. It's so special. Right after the concert tonight, uh, please join us on Zoom uh, for the post-concert hangout, hopefully with your quarantinis. Uh, you can use meeting ID 902-402-1125. That's 902-402-1125. And you can also get it uh, from the website. If you need a password, it's music, all lowercase. Now, we do have one musical guest we'd like to introduce you to. It's time to refill your quarantini, sit back, and meet our special guest. Be well, and see you next time. Bye. This elements, E, 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 aha. Elements of harmony. C, mare in the moon? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm almost done. I'm going to finish this. Well, let's wait and see if I need some. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful butterflies. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. Got, got some in a bit of video too, so. Shit. I'm actually done. I'm good. What do you guys think? Fish. Jack sent you the Zoom. Um, okay. What do you think? Is it done? Hmm. You never know. Eh? Any good shots of it? Um, I know I should take some.